Um, Little Bits is a company uh, or a project that was uh, first unveiled at Maker Faire and it's something that I'm very excited always about saying. In 2009, the very first prototypes of Little Bits were handmade. I came to Maker Faire, I took a booth, I put them out on a table and I got um, mobbed uh, by, uh, by kids and adults alike and that's when I figured out that okay, maybe there's a product here. Um, and uh, about five, six years, five years later, um, it's a company that we're based in New York. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction about Little Bits and then introduce this new exciting product that we have. The mission of Little Bits is to put the power of electronics in the hands of everyone. And we spent the first couple of years at Little Bits really focusing on the word everyone and really focusing on making the barrier to entry very, very low for electronics. This means that you had to have no, no background in engineering whatsoever, no um, experience in soldering, in wiring, in programming, no matter what, in, within seconds we want to get you into electronics. And what we did is we spent the first really two years building up the core library in order to make that happen. And now we are at this very important juncture where we're starting to focus on the word power. Um, now that we have this foundation, we want to really enable you to make powerful things and complicated things that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do. So if you think about kind of the larger picture, every technology that has really transformed society has usually started in the hands of experts. Um, something like, uh, things like printing or game development. Game development used to be something that only Nintendo or Sony could do. Now anyone with a computer in a couple of weeks can make the most popular game in the App Store. Uh, same thing for manufacturing. It used to be something that only large companies could do. Now anybody with a 3D printer in their bedroom can, can run their own mini factory. But what about hardware? Um, how do we democratize hardware and how do we really make it accessible to everyone? So with looking at hardware, one of the, the problems that we're solving is looking at some of these circuits. Nobody wants to make a circuit like this. Nobody, this is not the project that you have in mind. A circuit with wires, with proto, uh, with, uh, proto boards, with a capacitor sticking out, this is not the project, this is a means to an end. What you're trying to do is you're trying to make a robot, you're trying to make an installation, you're trying to make uh, a statement or a prototype for a company. This is not your intention. Or another example, on the, it, on the left side um, is a breadboarded version of a seven-segment seven display. This is one of the most common digital displays available in electronics. It's available in any piece of electronics. This is not a, a goal of a project on the left side. This is a means to an end. What you want to do is not what's on the left side. And so what we do at Little Bits is we take that entire circuit, the breadboarded circuit, including the firmware, signal conditioning, any resistors, capacitors, any circuitry that you need, and really package it up into modules. And the module turns out to be this little thing on the right. So a little mini demo. Um, these are examples of little bits. They're the modular pieces um, that each have one function and they snap together with magnets so that you can't make a mistake. And you can start to create larger circuits by simply snapping more and more of these circuits together. So this is an example, a pressure sensor, a bar graph and a buzzer. And suddenly you've made a pressure sensitive buzzing circuit. So some examples of projects that you can make, I'll show you really quickly, and this sort of illustrates this idea of this is what somebody's trying to make, not sort of a circuit, trying to make a project. So we're going to play this video. So what you have here is a remote controlled uh, robot um, that we call FaceTime robot so that you can communicate with someone across the room. And it's made of nothing but little bits, some mounting boards and an iPhone. Uh, there was no program programming involved whatsoever, uh, no wiring, no experience. In fact, the person who made it is an industrial designer. If you wanted to make something like that with Lego Mindstorms or with other robotic platforms, it would require knowledge and engineering, would require programming, and more than anything, would require you be wanting to sort of learn all these skills. So I'll just pause. Another example of a project that shows you this idea of means to an end um, is this instrument that one of our community members made. So sound, please.
So this project is essentially um, a Lego-made train track that is, uh, with it included some little bits modules called the synth bits, which are analog synthesizer modules, um, and they're integrated with some uh, sensors. So on the top left, you see a bend sensor, and um, the bend sensor is activating this music, and so the whole thing becomes somewhat like an instrument. And this community member who makes it actually has been putting on the website um, weekly these elaborate, mechanical, playful uh, instruments that are made of Lego, made of Kinects, made of little bits, and really combining sensor as well as mechanical uh, projects. And it's sort of this, this beautiful mashup of art and technology. Um, so essentially what, what we're trying to do is really make uh, electronics really, really easy. And make it really easy, really unintimidating, and really inviting to people that maybe didn't think of themselves as wanting to learn electronics at all. Um, and so part of the thing that I'm very excited about announcing today, it's been kind of announced a little bit, uh, but it's even more exciting to announce it today, um, is a partnership uh, with Massimo and Massimo's team and Arduino to take this even to the next level. So if you look at the little bits library, today we have 44 bits on the market. We have another 50 or so on the way. There are trillions of different combinations, trillions of billions of combinations that are possible. Um, and you can literally get started within seconds. However, however up until now, uh, you weren't able, didn't need to, of course, but also weren't able to program if you wanted to. That means that the modules attach in different configurations. You can use mechanical and sensory and environmental um, uh, inputs and outputs to it. But if you wanted something a little bit more complex, you couldn't do it until today. So the idea is that we want to take, again, this idea of a very complex circuit where uh, it can be hindering to your creative process, it can be uh, a source of frustration, you're trying to create, let's say, a wireless device that communicates, and suddenly you find yourself debugging where the wires are going and not understanding what's happening, and there isn't really kind of an output into a piece of hardware to know where the bug is. Um, and instead, sort of, we take it uh, to what you see on the right and make it this ready-to-use module. So this module, um, in case of programmability, is the one that I'm excited about, and it's the Arduino at Heart module. So I'd like to call Matthew up. Now it's somebody's turn to call you. I'm back. So this, um, this partnership between LittleBits and Arduino is a very, very, very natural partnership. Um, we are gigantic fans of Arduino and what they've done for the maker movement. Uh, they've inspired people who never thought of themselves as makers, uh, designers, artists, uh, people, who, and also hackers, uh, to be able to program and get started uh, very quickly. And essentially, we're both trying to do the same yeah. thing, coming at it from different direction, both wanting to make making even easier. So, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying that, you know, we love little bits. We, we, that we think that the concept is great. And also, you know, with, uh, I has been with us in the open source hardware community since the beginning. She organized one of the first events in New York years ago. So this was, a, I think it was a natural connection. And also I want to highlight the fact that also they joined this Arduino at Art project program, which is really for companies to say, you know, we support Arduino. We want... You know, not only we use the Arduino technology, but we, we give back, we support, we recognize the Arduino. So, you know, thank you for thank that. You. Thank you. The, the, the really exciting um, piece of this is, is like Massimo said, um, one of the first collaborations in the Arduino at Heart program, um, uh, really a very, um, uh, a very good mashup of basically what Arduino has been doing for software um, and making it even easier for everybody to get on board. And also in hardware, we're really trying to do and bring the barrier very, very low uh, to hardware. And so this is what the Arduino module looks like. Um, it's modeled, um, uh, it's obviously powered by Arduino. It's Arduino Brain in here, programmable via the Arduino IDE. Um, it has three inputs and three outputs. And the idea is that you snap, uh, you literally snap uh, the magnets together and you're starting to program. So I'm going to show you this little video. So on the left side, you see a real-time uh, circuit building. On the right side, um, uh, 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 speeded up uh, 10x, uh, showing you how to blink an LED, how to put a, butter to, uh, a button to an LED, uh, and really explaining why this, uh, this, this partnership and this new product together makes sense. These are some examples of projects uh, you can make with the Arduino uh, a little bit. Uh, 
they, it launches with 10 sketches available for you to make it even easier. Things like Etch-a-Sketch, uh, like audio tuners, um, uh, in this case an, an, event, uh, an, an animatronic hand uh, that plays rock, paper, so scissors. So that you can focus on the programming and we can take care of the hardware. took the Arduino bit to um, ITP and DT to see it tested and saw suddenly the um, students and artists create these beautiful uh, art pieces and interactions focusing on the, on the code while we sort of took care of the electronics. So uh, we launched this earlier this week on Thursday. Um, to make it even easier to get started, um, uh, we have this Arduino starter bundle, uh, which ba was basically just a couple of weeks ago, our head of marketing, Seb, said, how do we make it really an, an immediate experience for somebody to get started in programming and in hardware? And so this bundle comes with the Arduino bit, with a few different bits, dimmer, um, uh, LED, etc., that you can start running the sketches with. You can run eight out of the 10 sketches that come with. And obviously, there's uh, tens and hundreds and thousands more projects online that you can get inspired from. This is the Etch-a-Sketch project. Um, so on the left side uh, and right side, you see what the materials are. It's an Arduino, two dimmers, a fork, and a power. Uh, literally, something as easy as that, and suddenly you're creating your Etch-a-Sketch. Another example is this uh, uh, um, vintage jukebox. Uh, in this case, it's a more complex circuit. I think it's 14 bits uh, that are needed. Uh, but the really interesting thing is you build it up one brick at a time without necessarily knowing uh, how you would have done it in a breadboard setting. So we're uh, here at Maker Faire. Um, we're starting to showcase this uh, suite of products that are more, more focused on a professional user, um, on a hack, to a hacker, a maker, uh, so that we're really elevating the ceiling of things that you could do with little bits uh, and really focusing on the word power and the power of electronics. Um, and this is one of my favorite quotes that actually a few weeks ago came out <laughs> before the launch. It says, seriously, this was a few weeks ago, somebody talking about Little Bits. Seriously, it's like Legos and Arduinos made tender love and had the most beautiful baby, Little Bits. But then now, what I'm saying <laughs> is that imagine if you take Little Bits plus Arduino, and now it's up to you guys to make a baby. So um, you can join us and go ahead and make your baby. We're at booth um, uh, 6 to 8 in Expo Hall. We have the Arduino bid up. We have hackathons happening every other hour. Uh, and you experience it firsthand. And you can wait, w uh, um, win some little prizes as well. So that's it. Thank you. <laughs>